So the next point we're thinking about is like, is it really right for everybody to have a reduction surgery or what's, how, what are the pros and cons on that? And like, is it a cure? Because I don't know. I mean, to me, if you have lipedema and it is in your body and you have it removed, but it grows in all these different times of life, is it gone or is it just like in remission potentially? So yeah, that is what a what a great question. And so, you know, again, lipedema is a systemic disease. There are um, there so are clean chronic illness. Uh, yeah, chronic illness. And so there are uh, metabolic there are metabolic and, and lymphatic changes um, and we're now seeing sign there's our, the genes point to some uh, ge uh, our genetic information now points to a uh, some singling proteins even possibly uh, va in the in the vascular uh, space vascular notch signaling proteins that may be involved in lipedema so this is all over your body it's not just in your legs it's in your arms we uh, trunk it, it and and so um, so you're not gonna you cannot cure that with just uh, a surgery the, even you could even if you had surgery all over your body you would you still have the lipedema genetics and milieu uh, so it has to be managed lifelong and so you always uh, have the predisposition that's right yeah now to your point does everybody need to read no the answer is no um, many people can manage this with uh, diet. Um, I, I, I really like to point towards uh, some papers published by Dr. Amato, um, and he has had great results. Uh, uh, he does surgery, but he surgery only for those who need uh, uh, need it. Further, yeah. Like, for, further, re, further, further reduction. Further, further reduction. Yeah. Or further benefit. Yeah. For. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. And then, I mean, we also have to talk about quite frankly, in my opinion, the personal choice, you know, like you can be, uh, you know, a woman with this disease and a million people can tell you what to do. But if it's not what you, if you're not feeling it, in my opinion, you should not go into it until you're feeling it, right? You shouldn't be doing anything just because people are telling you to do it because that's when things go awry, right? Like you, your head has to be in the game, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, this is not. This is something that has to come from inside, and it also has to be. You know, your you have to your your surgeon and you have to come to it, or or all your doctors or all your all your support have to be there for you, and all everybody and you have to, you know, you have to embrace the plan. I mean that, and you have to be ready for that. It's right. a lot. Right, and you have to weigh the risks and the benefits because everybody has a different risk and the benefit. So, like I, at the moment, am in this, but I still am not. Um, it's not a surgery journey for me yet because it's not clear that the risks don't outweigh the benefits. And so, um, you know, it's just, it's a, it comes down to a personal choice. I'm a person who has had a whole life change, and maybe this is where I'm going to be. Maybe, you know, going from a gastric bypass when I was 404 pounds to, you know, letting go of, well, still after 20 years, I'm still down 150 pounds. So that's like, you know, an amazing yeah. relief already, sure, right? Sure, and so sure. maybe for now, that's just how it is, and that's good enough for the moment. And we see if something changes later, but risks at the moment outweigh the benefits. So, yeah, that well said. I, I, I have, I mean, I really, uh, I couldn't have said it better. I have nothing to add. I can, I can add one thing. I mean, I can tell you though, I can tell you though, as you, it is a much better journey as you're reducing uh, than as you're adding. So a reduction journey, in my opinion, I think everybody's opinion, is always more helpful 
So it's more helpful for mobility, it's more helpful for swelling, it's more helpful for state of mind, obviously. It's more helpful for, you know, access. Um, and oh, what a good segue! Let's talk about that. So, Wait, wow, I, we could have planned that. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> okay, we'll take a quick break. Stay tuned. We're gonna talk about access when we come back. 